So I'm on YouTube late one night, doing some important research, and I stumble across something kind of remarkable. Oh man, all right, here we go. Oh man, it's getting so bad. Oh, my throat is... Oh. <coughs> I can't even describe the pain. <sighs> Now, the video isn't the remarkable part, no. What's remarkable is how many videos there are of people doing the exact same thing. And I mean hundreds from all over the world. There are some from France, England, Germany, Japan, and a whole lot from America all speaking the international language of painful regret. How is that necessary? And it turns out the people responsible for a lot of that regret actually come from right here. Well, my name is Marcel De Witt from the Chili Factory, and I'm a chili junkie. time I had chili was a long time ago. My father he started me off as a little kid. If I didn't behave, I have to have a bit of his chili. So I wouldn't, wouldn't be a bad boy anymore. So that's basically how I got used to eating chilies. Now, how much chili I eat every day? Well, it starts in the morning with my breakfast. Most of the times I have a ham and cheese chili sandwich. For lunch, I do peanut butter sandwiches with chilies as well. And for dinner, I put habanero chilies into my dinner. Anything I cook has to have chilies. I'm very Addicted to chilies, I love it. I've been eating so many chilies in my lifetime. Food without chilies is a bit boring, in my opinion. When I go to a dinner party, I always bring my own chilies with me. When we have a barbecue, I always make sure I have plenty of chilies. I even take my own little jar of habanero paste with me when I go flying on a plane, just to make sure that the food in the plane is edible. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm addicted to it, I must say, yeah. Chilies certainly aren't anything new. But just recently, to use a rather obvious pun, the industry has started to heat up. TV chefs have started singing the Pepper's praises. We love a bit of uh, chili. Uh, you know I love a bit of chili. Celebrities and dignitaries are encouraging their use. Take a page from Hillary Clinton's book to stay healthy. Apparently the former Secretary of State ate hot peppers to stay alert and virus-free during her world travels. Now more people are eating chilies and growing chilies than ever before. But until recently, none were hotter than the Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea. When we start uh, making soup hot chilies, one day I'll go like, oh, this one is almost ripe. I'm gonna eat it. I almost passed out. My head starts spinning. Donald Duck was talking to me. We realized by taste testing that a, the scorpion chili was really, really, really hot. That's why we sent off like 30 to 40 chili pots to a uh, lab. My brother called me and he was yelling and screaming through the phone, we've got the Guinness World Record for the hottest chili in the world. And I couldn't believe him, actually. <laughs> I thought, he's having me on. In the three decades before 2007, the Guinness World Record for the hottest chili was passed only once. In the seven years since then, the record has changed hands five times. These guys held on to it for nearly three years. Yeah, no, we're really proud of having the record. Uh, it's been great. and. Yeah, it'd make you feel good and you know, be able to say that you grow the hottest chili in the world and that you actually have a Guinness Book of Records. We just uh, couldn't believe it. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> Beautiful. To give you some idea of how potent this tiny red plant is, picture this. Four years ago, the Indian military found that their hottest chili, the Butchilokia, was strong enough to be used as a weapon to disperse crowds. The scorpion is about 50% hotter. Protection. Very important. The worst thing about growing chilies is picking them. After picking chilies for a few hours, your hands just started to burn and glow. It stays in your skin for a couple of days. And each time you wash your hands in warm water, it starts burning again. Everything you touch, the doorknob, the table, the seed, anything you touch, it's gonna have chili all on it. Never enough soap. You gotta wash your hands before you go to the toilet and afterwards, of course, as well. Of course, you get chili oils on your hands, you get it in your eyes, you get it, you start coughing from deseeding the chilies. So, safe to go to the toilet, mate. There is people out there that travel all up from all over Australia to come here to eat a super hot chili. People just wanna try that, that heat and 
They want to ex experience that burn, and a lot of them do regret it on the end. The reactions we get are mainly like uh, screaming, yelling, Look, no! running around. I thought it wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> People fainting. Oh man, that hurt bad. Throwing up. <laughs> We had to stop serving uh, the scorpion chilies at the Floriade in Canberra because we had too many people collapsing. I've seen people pass out, I've seen people go to the hospital, so I don't recommend it to people that are not used to eating hot chilies. No matter how painfully hot chilies get, someone will always be looking for a way to make them hotter. In November 2013, the Trinidad scorpion lost its world record to the Carolina Reaper from America. I think the industry is definitely getting more competitive. Um, and especially in America, you know, obviously they, they want to have the record because typical American, we need to have the biggest this and the, the strongest this and all that. I mean, you know, we had it for almost three years, which is good for records. And when it was taken away, I was going, okay, fair enough, you know, let's move on. We've got more things to do. I'm busy as it is. We're working almost seven days a week. <laughs> so, you know, we'll get it. We'll get it back for sure. We'll be back. If chilies are as addictive as these guys say, and they do say it a lot. People get addicted to chilies. I'm very addicted to chilies. It's a natural addiction to the chili. They get addicted to the chilies, which is addictive, of course. Then the quest to grow the hottest chili, to be immortalized by Guinness and YouTube daredevils alike, is just as addictive. We, 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 we do think we have hotter ones. Uh, we'll see. We have a good summer this year, so hopefully um, we get lots of sunshine. We're really keen to, to get uh, uh, our chilies be acknowledged as being the best chilies in the world and the hottest chilies in the world. So we'll be back for sure. As I was leaving, Alex and Marcel made me promise that I would try just a small chunk of their signature chili. And thankfully, they decided to film it. It's slowly That's, kicking in yeah, now. No, that is definitely, that is definitely kicking in. Glass <laughs> of milk before you go? Yep. Yeah. Starting to fall oh, out, Alex. Mate. How are we doing that milk? And so that's how I ended up on YouTube, along with the hundreds of others sharing my own version of painful regret. Let it recoup. Let, oh, let, let. Just, just drink the milk, slide it.